Students at Riverland Community College in Austin are getting a different sort of hands-on experience. And it involves what are called virtual cadavers. ABC 6 News reporter Megan Stewart explains. Cadavers or corpses used for educational purposes are pricey and difficult to dispose of. So staff at Riverland Community College in Austin decided to take a different, more technologically advanced approach. It's called the Anamatage, and really, it's a virtual cadaver. Riverland Community College was the first educational institution in Minnesota to get one. The machine was purchased with the help of community donors, and Thursday was a demonstration. One of the drawbacks from the table is it only likes one hand on it at a time, and they all want to get in and get their hands on it at the same time. It works with a touch screen, allowing the virtual body to twist and turn, and letting users pick out specific body parts to study them. Riverland started using it in March. I'm from California. Um, I'm from the Bay Area, and no school where I'm from has anything that compares to this. So to know that I'm able to have this kind of education with this kind of technology in a rural Minnesota town is really nice. Next up, program leaders at Riverland say they hope to buy a 3D printer so students can study 3D x-rays. Reporting in Austin, Megan Stewart, ABC 6 News.